<clears throat> they got a lot of guys they play. It's hard to kind of figure out. You know, they have different combinations all the time. They've started big with Andy Brown at the two. Um, they've started uh, a lot of different combinations of players, played different with different players. Uh, so it's kind of hard to get a feel. Their primary people, obviously, are you know Powell, Randall. Uh, I really like Eustace. He's been pretty steady all the way through. Uh, Bright had a great game last time, which they probably don't win. You know, Washington State if he doesn't come in and get 21. Uh, so that extra shooter really helped them. Uh, they're working hard on defense. Don't really have a low post presence per se, so they don't have a guy standing in the key all the time. They'll play a lot of five out, and spread, and move, and uh, try to get the ball to people and ISOs to make plays. How improved his game? Uh, yeah, he was hurt last year. You know, he's always been a real explosive player. Uh, he was hurt last year here at us when he was a freshman. For sure, kind of took us off guard. Very explosive player, hard to guard. Uh, got six ten kid playing away from the basket. It's uh, great first step quickness. So uh, you know, they you, you tend to get better as you move along. He's stronger and he's healthy, which is a big deal for him. What does your team need to do to achieve consistency? What, what do you look to do? This point halfway in the season. Well, you know, conference, we've had two conference wins. In both cases, we had a third scorer. And uh, in both cases, it was Wallace. But uh, if, if we could get a third and, and or a fourth scorer, that would really open things up. I mean, you know, I mean, Alec took seven shots. I think uh, uh, we didn't have anybody take double figure shots, and yet we were able to beat Washington State because we had other people scoring the ball. So that really helps to not to have to rely on just, you know, Allen so much and, and uh, these people are really doing a good job with him. So trying to develop a third and fourth, if not a fifth score, uh, would be great for us. But, you know, we still have to continue to work on defense knowing that we're going to have to really work to have a chance to win. Talk about the, you said, you said Justin, uh, I like the way he played the other day for you. you said, Key for him is to sort of develop a balance in this way. Can you talk a little bit more about how, how he's doing with that and what the challenges those are? Well, it was only Saturday. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Had a lot happen on Monday. Uh, you know, I mean, I, I don't, I would prefer they not go half without shooting the ball. I think he needs to, to be a threat with the shots and, and uh, he, he has the ability to get the basket. He's got a really good mid range game. If we want to lose confidence in his ability to score, you know, he had. 30, so we need to have that as a possibility for him. Uh, I think that, you know, he's got to figure out what's a good shot, what's a higher percentage play, his shot or maybe addition it to another guy. And uh, so we've got, got both extremes, now we need to find a happy medium. Yeah, in his case, I presume it's not a case of, of wanting to be a gunner, but just not always knowing what the right play is? Well, it's confidence. He feels like he can get, you know, get where he wants to get all the time. And then if, But if it's not working, he has to realize that, I mean, so we set a lot of pick and rolls and there's a second guy uh, committing to him. And when I commit a second guy, that means we have four on three somewhere else. The ability to get out of that and find the open people is really what you're trying to do if you're, if you're a four guard. You think his confidence has been hurt a little bit recently with the shooting? Um, like all young guys, I mean, it's uh, ball doesn't go down. You start to question yourself a little bit, but he'll he'll bounce back. He's had too many scoring games. What would you like? Uh, or what does I really need to, to work on from this point on uh, for you to really be effective? Consistency. Uh, I mean, he's not probably totally used to the physicality of, uh, of the game and needs to get a little more aggressive. He's got long arms he can defend. Sometimes he doesn't get up and get after people like I think he could. He's a good
good rebounder. He's got to go all the time to the glass and be a factor there. Uh, obviously, uh, you'd like some consistency scoring-wise. I mean, he went from you know zero to sixteen in, yeah. in you know the LA trip. It was comparable. So, I'd like to know what it is you're going to get from him, where where he needs to have the ball, and, and that would really help all of us. Would you like him to become a point guard full time eventually, or? Well, he, that's where he's headed, sure. Um, we tried to play him there some and move Justin off the ball, trying to get scoring. And in some cases, he's done a really good job of passing. Other cases, he wasn't able to get penetration. So he kind of got stuck with the ball a little bit. So uh, he's not totally there yet, but he's better on the move. He's better with the ball in his hands, I think. Uh, so ultimately, that's where we intend for him to be. Is Justin? At this point, maybe better without the ball in his hands all the time as a primary guy. Justin? Yeah. Mm, no, nah, I wouldn't say that. I mean, I think it's a little <clears throat> bit of how people are defending us and what uh, what kind of game a guy's having. Uh, we've tried to do that a little bit and get Justin more curling into the paint. And, uh, and sometimes that works, sometimes it doesn't. So we've got to have the flexibility to do multiple things. Isn't Justin your best penetrator, though, when he has the ball? Like, it depends on the situation. Again, in the open court, he's typically strong enough to get to the basket. Um, so, you know, when on pick and rolls, I don't know that either one has been great getting the basket because people are trapped and doubling and hedging, whatever you want to call it. And, uh, sometimes that's been a problem for all of our guards. And uh, this Tyrone, is he just someone who just always needs to work on his shooting? Is he, he's not a natural shooter, is he? He's not a pure shooter yet, but he's uh, getting better and he does work at it. Is he a good shooter in high school or more of a score? More of a score. There was, uh, you know, there were times, I mean, he was their best player, so he's a high volume guy, but uh, he's more of a score. How early were you on him? Did you fight him with someone you, you wanted? Um, I think I'd gone down spring of sophomore year. Uh, as I recall, we walked into a gym and there were still quite a few people that were on him. So we ended up recruiting him throughout that junior year into that summer. What impressed you about him at that time, at a young age? Um, I liked his length and uh, I thought that uh, he seemed to have a pretty good feel for the game, and he you know, had long arms, and at 6'3 plus 6'4, uh, felt like he was going to be a good guard. Um, you know, you look at a kid that early, I mean, you can hesitate all you want, but by the time you make your decisions, lots of times kids are already made their decision to go elsewhere, so mm -hmm. you got to be careful with that. What do you make of the fact that the opponents have 20 more steals? In Random stat does that mean anything? I don't look at stats much. So I don't make much out of it. The obligatory health question. Do you expect to have Brandon this week or the other? Uh, yes, I do. <laughs> but I've been fooled before. Uh, he's having some tests and meeting with some doctors today. We're hoping he gets the green light. That'll be different on, uh, on Christmas. Nope. Since he doesn't have any. Red shirt availability left. Do you just take it, take your time with him and hope it starts to get better? Or? Well, we could. Uh, yeah, yeah, we, we don't, don't have no it. reason to say we're shutting him down for the year, though. I mean, it doesn't no. do anybody any good. Right? I don't think it does. I mean, he would like to play, and he set out all last year, so it's been really disappointing for all of us, him in particular. But we've got to wait for that thing to get strong enough to to play. I mean, every time he tried to get out there, it felt pretty good. Step on a foot or catch it, and it's pretty painful. So, uh, is he just resting it right now? Well, he's he's really working to strengthen the whole thing. He started favoring the one side, and so you know there's all kinds of things going on. But he's just trying to strengthen the foot, the leg muscles, the hips, everything, so that he uh, takes a little bit of pressure off the the ankle and has enough strength. So we're really working on strengthening it right now. 
end of the season petition for a medical redshirt for him? Is that something that's possible? <clears throat> no, not really. Um, he's already had a redshirt uh, right. transfer, so I mean, if he'd hurt himself last year, and this was the second year of an injury oh. or another injury, yeah, you could get a six. But if it, if it's you know, when a kid redshirts, you basically say, well, he's used his redshirt year. 